To select the channel view screen, press and hold function and tap video 1. Channel view shows each desk channel number and its fixture name. It also shows the fixture parameters and their levels. You can see where the latest level for each attribute came. It could be from the pat pad, from a scene, a preset, or a palette. Use the edit wheel to scroll the display. To deselect video 1, press and hold function and tap video 1. To select the output and patch screen, press and hold function and tap video 2. You can see each desk channel number and its fixture name as well as the DMX slot to which each attribute or dimmer is patched and its current DMX level. Use the edit wheel to scroll the display. To deselect video 2, press and hold function and tap video 2. The pat pad video is automatically selected when a fixture is loaded onto the pat pad. The pat pad window consists of the pat pad view and the pat pad mimic. Pat pad view shows all of the fixtures loaded on the pat pad. Fixtures that are not highlighted have a black background and are not included in any pat pad operations. The currently selected fixture is indicated by the bar. The parameters are color coded. Red for color, blue for beam, and green for focus. The letter A indicates that the parameter has been altered by the pat pad. F indicates that a filter has been applied. E shows that the parameter's value came from a palette. And a P shows that the value came from a preset. You will learn more about these letters in later videos. If a parameter is flashing, then it will be included in any store or recall operation. PatPad Mimic shows the currently selected fixture and the names of all the parameter matrix buttons for that fixture. Below each parameter are its times. A double asterisk means that the default times are being used. To deselect video 4, press and hold function then tap Video 4 or clear the pat pad.